Hi there. Today I have another rant uh, and uh, what is it about? Well, it's not so much about our politicians who have in many ways betrayed the interest of the people. Uh, it's not about my disappointment with what's happening with Canadian agriculture and the poisoning of our food, of our environment. It's not about how our democracy has essentially been hijacked by special interests. It's not about how I think we have we are seeing the onset of a version of fascism to replace our democracy. Basically today's rant is my frustration with ourselves, you, me, and the citizens of Canada. I cannot speak for, you know, citizens of United Nations or, or UK or, or, or United States or Mexico. Uh, I am a citizen of Canada. I can only hope in a democratic system to make some changes for the positive in Canada. The other people elsewhere have to, have to fight their own battles. And I make this rant today to show my frustration not at the politicians for betraying our interest. Yes, that's a fact. But on deeper thoughts, this is not because the politicians are rogue. It's because we have allowed our politics and our democracy to be hijacked. It's we. If you look for the root cause, you can't go deeper than looking at the mirror and seeing what we are done or what we have not done. Uh, one doesn't have to be too brave, but it is necessary to exert our, uh, to, to at least try to regain control of the democratic process. That control should be in the hands of the people. Now, the thing is, in a functioning democracy, in my understanding of it, it's the people that are the masters. And politicians are essentially public servants. They are supposed to follow the wish of the people. They are not to follow the dictates of the party boss or the corporations or whoever else does whatever other favor for them. Their only contractual job is to fulfill the wish of the people. So, how come our tax dollars are used to bomb faraway countries who have never invaded us. Why is our tax dollars being used to create enemies which is none of our business? If you think somebody is bad, whether it's Assad or whoever, yeah, take it to the International Criminal Court, take it to the United Nations. It's not our business to use our bombs created out of our own tax money to bomb some other country. Why are we allowing it? On whose behest? Just because United States want to go on a war, we have to tag along like a, lily, lily, like a poodle behind them or what? Uh, how come our agricultural heartland has been depopulated and now you have farms that are 25, 30,000 acres and it's being farmed by one family and more often than not, that guy doesn't even own the land, doesn't own the equipment, doesn't own the technology, doesn't own the seeds. He's no better than a contract laborer for firms like Monsanto or their, their, uh, their partners in crime in, in Canada. And uh, we are being doled out this, this, this pesticide-laden poison food in the name of progress. Why is this happening? And what happened before all this came? That same piece of land, 30,000 acres, probably supported, you know, 50 families. And now, all those people have been moved out of the heartland. They have come to the cities, looking for jobs, increasing your tax burden, while the agricultural belt is in control of these corporations that tell you that this is the only way to grow food. And don't worry, the poison is okay. It's, it's, it's not killing you today. What happens tomorrow, we'll see. Now, all this is happening because of you and me having abdicated our duty. In my view, democracy is a very serious business and the most important role that anybody has to perform to make it work properly 
is the role of the citizens. It's the citizens' duty to ensure that the part-time job given to independent governments to run the country, that they are doing it right, and if they are doing, not doing it right, to ensure that they are replaced, they are booted out by another group. There is no room for parties. The constituents are supposed to represent their will and the politician is supposed to make sure that those wills are executed when he votes for the bills. It doesn't matter what the party boss says. Party boss is, not, is, is, is nobody. Now, why all this is happening in our country and why I am making this rant is that I am not so much fed up with the politicians. I am fed up with ourselves. We do not deserve democracy. I mean, if we are so afraid to even give, even expose our own names, our own addresses, show our own pictures, give our, our own phone numbers to the politician and say that I am so and so, I am Tony Mitra, I am from here and I am fed up and I am going to work my best to see you don't get elected next time because you did not represent us. You represent somebody else. If you are too afraid to say all these things to the politicians, you don't deserve democracy. You deserve to be a slave in some dictatorship and that's what you are getting. I mean, it's not that only Canadians are like that, but like I said, I live here. I cannot talk for what Americans are doing. I can only talk for what we do. And that's why I am so fed up with ourselves. We do not deserve democracy and therefore we do not get democracy. We are behaving like a bunch of slaves and so we shall remain. And, you know, to me, this living inside social media, like, you know, Facebook and Twitter and all that, and sharing and clicking the like button, that's nothing. I mean, if all you people can do is be armchair activists and push like buttons, you deserve to be slaves. We deserve to be a country of slaves. If you want democracy to work, if you have any feeling for your future generation's uh, um, health, not just health, their sovereignty, their food security, their nature, their biodiversity, their wildlife, you, if you have any, any sense of consideration, then you need to do something a lot bigger. You have to put boots on the ground, you have to show your face to the politicians, and you have to you don't have to follow me. You can even do something better than me. I'll be more happy to see that. But I certainly don't want you to, you know, push like buttons on what I do. That's not what, why, why I publicize what I do. I publicize it so that you and everybody else will also do similar things or other things that you can do, which I didn't think about. Something that is even maybe more progressive and more can produce better results. And that's not sharing information and raising awareness. What's the point of raising awareness if all these aware people do nothing other than be armchair activists? If you are too afraid of politicians, if you are too afraid to show your face, if you are too afraid of ghosts, you do not deserve democracy. That's for certain. And this is why democracy has been corrupted all across. We don't even have a science institution. People keep talking about you know what information is there that that glyphosate is bad and all that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. For every article that you see that glyphosate or GMO is bad, there are 10 articles out there that say they are not bad. Why is this happening? Is it really because, because the evidence is overwhelming that uh, glyphosate and GMO is safe? Well, not really. It's happening because every science institution, every university, every lab, every avenue that should have produced unbiased assessment of how things are have been captured by the biotech industries. You do not have independent science left anymore. You do not have World Health Organization out of control of these people anymore. You do not have Codex Elementarius that is not infiltrated by these people anymore. And why and how has all this happened? Is because you and I have been found lacking in our most important task. And that is to be vigilant and ensure 
that these institutions remain outside of influence of these corporations. Yes, they have, this has happened with, with political backing. Yes, politicians have allowed this. But that's because we have allowed politicians to get away with this shit, with this nonsense. Pardon my French. So, ultimately the buck stops with you and me. We are the one who are really the laughing stocks, the jokers of this situation. And we are the one who has destroyed or helped Canadian democracy to be destroyed. Okay, I'm done with today's rant. I have more work to do here, so that's it for the day.